When fitting an air chamber to a caliper, we need to be sure that we prevent any water ingress to the caliper. First thing to check is the face seal. The face seal must be a minimum of three millimeters tall from the body of the air chamber. And the face that it connects to on the caliper needs to be clean, free from dirt or corrosion. The second more common place for water to enter the caliper is through the boot inside here. When you've taken an air chamber off, if there's any corrosion or dirt around the push rod, it's likely that there's been a failure in the boot back here. The fit to the push rod is important, but the most common issue is a split or a puncture in the boot, often caused by a spring that's fractured through corrosion. When the boots hold or split, water that's present all around here because the chamber's open to atmosphere, enters the boot through this hole here into the brake. So even when we've got a good face seal and a good location into the brake, we still can get water ingress if the boot is damaged or split further down here in the air chamber. So we have to carefully view from the open side, check the cleanliness of the push rod and determine whether there's an issue or not.